Yes. Season 21 is the season of Ark. Today, I am so excited to show you guys my Ark Titan build utilizing Eternal Warrior. With this build, we will have infinite damage buff, infinite damage resist, infinite lightning strikes and crazy ability uptime. This is the most fun I have had in a very long time with a build and shortly you will see exactly what I'm talking about. What's good guys, it's Zen and if you know me, you know I'm not gonna waste your time with my videos. So after we explain the build, I am gonna take this build into some end game content, 20 levels under power so that you know that this build is actually worth your time. Let's hop right into it. To start off, let's discuss our exotic armor of choice, Eternal Warrior. This exotic gives you an escalating damage bonus to your arc weapons when you get arc final blows. These final blows include ability kills. The damage bonus goes all the way up to tier 4, which is a total of 25% damage bonus to your arc weapons. The exotic also gives you an overshield during your Fists of Havoc super, and when the super ends, you gain that tier 4 damage bonus. This exotic alone is quite powerful, but it becomes even stronger when paired with our weapon of choice, Thunderlord. This machine gun simply outputs some ridiculous damage due to its trait, Lightning Rounds. Similar to Sweet Business, this weapon gains an RPM increase as you hold the trigger down, which essentially just raises its overall DPS. Lightning Rounds also causes lightning strikes when doing continuous damage to enemies. This weapon also intrinsically stuns Overload Champions, which is a nice added on bonus. Finally, with the Catalyst, lightning strikes will refresh our ammo, allowing us to non-stop spam rounds into enemies. Now these two exotics paired together are quite impressive, but the build really comes to life in our class and artifact perks. Let's start with the subclass. Now first of all, for our super, we will need to run Fists of Havoc. Based on my testing, you simply do not get the damage buff from Eternal Warrior when using the Thunder Crash super. Apart from that, after its recent buffs, Fist of Havoc is quite decent. The super intrinsically stuns unstoppable champions with its slam effect, which is a great added on bonus. For our class ability, we'll use Thruster for some quick movement. Thruster also synergizes with mods that we'll discuss later. For our melee, we'll use Thunderclap, and for our grenade, we've selected Pulse, as these are our best options for an ability spam build. Our first aspect is Touch of Thunder. This increases the functionality of our pulse grenades by having them create ionic traces as they damage targets. Our pulse grenades will also increase in damage the longer it remains on the field, which is excellent for melting champions. Next we have Knockout. This aspect boosts the damage of our melee when we get an enemy low HP and it turns it into an arc melee. Additionally, defeating enemies with melees starts our health regeneration and makes us amplified. This aspect essentially lets us get a bit of titan punching going, which is a big part of the fun of the build. It also makes us amplified for these melee kills, which increases our movement speed, weapon handling, reload speed, and gives other buffs that we'll mention shortly. Now let's move on to the fragments. First, we'll take Spark of Recharge. This aspect increases our melee and grenade regeneration when critically wounded. As you can see, this bonus is quite substantial and nothing to laugh at. Next, we have Spark of Shock. This makes our pulse grenades jolt targets for a bit of free damage. This fragment synergizes with Spark of Ions, which reads, Defeating jolted targets creates an ionic trace. Now, if you remember from earlier, this means that we will get multiple ionic traces from our grenades, since Touch of Thunder also gives ionic traces from sustained grenade damage. Finally, we'll take Spark of Magnitude to extend the duration that our pulse grenade remains on the field. Now, if you don't don't know, Ionic Traces follow you, and once they get to you, you get a substantial amount of ability energy back. This plays excellently into our ability spam, but it is just one of many buffs we have. Now with our foundation laid, it's time to turn this good build into a broken one by selecting our artifact perks. First, we'll take Amped Up, which extends the duration of Amplify from 15 seconds to 20. This doesn't sound like a lot, but it matters a lot when combined with future perks. For example, Thunderous Retort, which increases arc super damage by a crazy 30% when we are amplified. We also get 25% damage resistance while amplified due to electric armor. Shock and Awe will grant us even more lightning strikes when we get arc final blows of any kind while amplified. This, when combined with Thunderlord, will have lightning constantly striking down on our enemies, which makes for a crazy power fantasy. Finally, we have the perk responsible for the bulk of our ability spam, Lightning Strikes Twice. This gives us a 5 second dramatic grenade cooldown decrease after using our grenade. Additional arc kills extend the duration of this buff. With all of these combined, we are now ridiculously powerful. Now let's discuss the armor mods topping off this build. 
After that, I'll explain one last time every tool in your arsenal and how exactly you'll want to play with this build. Then we'll take it into the Lost Sector to show off how strong it is. Now for your helmet, you'll want two stacks of heavy ammo finder to increase your ammo economy. It is pertinent that we always have as much Thunderlord ammo as possible, as the gun is responsible for the bulk of our damage output. Next, we'll slot on Arc Siphon, which creates orbs of power for multi-kills with Thunderlord. On our arms, we'll be taking Grenade Kickstart to give us even more grenade uptime. Additionally, both Heavy Handed and Firepower will give us even more orbs of power for melee and grenade kills respectively. Now for our chest, you'll want two Arc Reserve mods again to help with that ammo economy. You can slot on 3, but I recommend your third mod being resistance that will help with whichever activity you're about to run. Now for your legs, you'll want Arc Scavenger, again for ammo economy. You'll also want Invigoration and Innervation. These give you grenade and melee ability energy back when picking up orbs of power. Finally, on your class item, you'll want 3 bomber mods. This gives you a large chunk of your grenade back when using your thruster ability. Thruster has a very short cooldown similar to Hunter Dodge, so this goes off quite frequently. Your other weapons do not matter, so feel free to run whatever you need for champions. Now for your stats, as always, you'll want 100 resilience for 30% damage reduction and faster thruster cooldowns, then 100 discipline for the fastest grenade cooldowns. Now for your third stat, you're going to want as much strength as possible. In a perfect world, we have triple 100s of all three of these stats. Now that we have gone over each tool in our kit, let's discuss how to play this build. Guys, fitting of a Titan build, it is actually so simple. Basically, all you're going to want to do is spam your abilities, punch things, and use Thunderlord for heavier HP targets. Each arc weapon or ability kill will give us a stacking damage bonus to our Thunderlord all the way up to tier 4 of 25%. Throwing your grenade will activate grenade kickstart and lightning strikes twice, giving you back your grenade very quickly. Grenade kills also create orbs of power, which gives you even more grenade energy when picking them up. Grenades also intrinsically stun overload champions, and create multiple ionic traces, and ramp up in damage the longer they remain on a target. Keep in mind, ionic traces give us even more ability uptime. Killing an enemy with our thunderclap melee will make us amplified and start our health regeneration. While amplified, we gain 25% damage resistance on top of our 30% from 100 resilience. Amplify also gives us 30% increased super damage and creates lightning strikes for arc final blows. When we get an enemy low HP, we can begin meleeing everything in sight for 5 seconds as we now have activated our knockout aspect. Each kill will begin our health regeneration. This is a very fun and very titan way to do ad clear and it works surprisingly well. Finally, our thruster ability gives us additional movement and a large chunk of our grenade energy back. And now that you know what we're working with, let's prove just how good this build is by testing it in a lost sector while 20 levels under power. Okay, now jumping right into it, we are going to throw our grenade at this group of ads and you will see how quickly this grenade comes back. They're absolutely fried and we just got two ionic traces from that. We are charging up our thunderclap so that we can absolutely melt them. And guys, our grenade is already back. So now we're going to move forward. We're going to stun the unstoppable champion. We're going to start using our thunder lord, throw our grenade at the ground. And look, we just threw our grenade. It's already 60% back. We got some more scions on the left side. We're going to glaive those guys down. We're going to glaive down the unstoppable. He's dead and we already have our grenade back again. We're going to throw our grenade again at the group of ads and we could use our thruster at this point in time you see our thunderlord or rather our thunderclap is back and we just absolutely melt everything we're we did a bit of punching there for our knockout we're gonna do a bit more punching because we're titans why not now guys this is the easiest lost sector in the game typically i clear at three minutes we're gonna clear it in two minutes with this amazing build typically i need to sit in the back of the map but we're just right in the action right here you see how fast thunderlord is absolutely melting this unstoppable champion due to eternal warrior buffing it so much the 25 percent we're gonna throw our grenades stun the overload champion but thunderlord is also gonna do it look how fast he's getting melted I can't even talk. I can't even explain everything going on because we're just running through it so fast. We're gonna throw our grenade again. We're gonna miss our thunderclap, but it doesn't matter because we do have the knockout, so we're gonna punch all these ads. We're trying to reload our Thunderlord here. 
It does take quite a bit, but we are amplified, so that buffs a little bit. We're getting slowed down, but nothing can slow us down because of the strength of this build. Gonna throw our grenade again because we have another one somehow. Gonna use our shotgun because why not? We have the intrinsic overload, so all we really need is the unstoppable glaive that frees up our shotgun slot, and we're gonna melt the overload champion before I can even see what's going on. And at this point in time, we're gonna deal with the boss. We have the 30% damage buff from the artifact mod and on top of that this entire time we've been having lightning strikes because of shock and awe guys this build is absolutely amazing it fries everything and that's about it guys give this build a try today it will not be as good when the season ends with the artifact perks leaving if you enjoy this type of content be sure to subscribe as i post destiny 2 guides every single day i have this goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer and if everyone subscribed i would hit that by the end of the week which would be wild Either way, appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.